Here's a walkthrough video on how to set a lumber I.O. link block up as a basic 16 input and output block. Uh, first you'll need to bring in the EDS file of the lumber block, of the lumber I.O. link block. In my case I'm using the 0980XSL3912 which is all eight ports can be inputs, outputs, or I.O. link. And after I brought it in set the IP address and that's the only thing I need to do. Uh, here are my input byte sizes and output byte sizes. This will not need to change. After I've brought in my EDS file and set the IP address, if I go to controller tags and I look at the config data of the, of the block, the EDS file imports a lot of config information. The only one that's really important to us here is this channel mode port 1, channel A, and channel B. So on the channel A side, it can be set up as a digital output, digital input, or I.O. link. And on the B side, it can be set up as digital output or digital input. In my case, I'm setting a 2 to every port to make everything a digital input. So you can change them here or... I have a little sample routine where I'm moving it to to each port. If you do this while you're live, you'll need to power cycle the block after you've made these config changes or inhibit the module and then re-inhibit inhibit the module and that'll take effect. After this is done, you should have no lights on on your, on your block on each port. And then to find where your digital input and digital output data is, if you go to the Lumberg, you know, your, your tag data, the input side, under data, the first 16 bits will be all your digital inputs. And same goes for outputs. If you're controlling any outputs, it's going to be the first 16 bits are your digital outputs.